Welcome, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we gather to seek God's divine protection. In a world filled with uncertainty and challenges, we often find ourselves in need of God's sheltering embrace. As Catholics, we believe that God is our refuge and strength, our protector and guide. In this time of prayer, let us turn our hearts toward him, trusting that he watches over us and protects us from all harm. The Bible tells us repeatedly that God is our protector. In Psalm 91 we read, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. This psalm reminds us that when we place our trust in God, he becomes a shield around us. His presence surrounds us like a fortress, guarding us against the attacks of the enemy and the dangers of this world. But how do we experience this protection in our daily lives? It begins with prayer, calling upon God and inviting him to be our protector. Today, I invite you to join me in a prayer for God's protection. Let us pray together, asking him to be our shield, our refuge, and our fortress. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Protect me from all harm and danger, both seen and unseen. Shield me from the attacks of the enemy and surround me with your angels to guard my steps. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Michael the Archangel, and all the saints, I seek your divine protection over my home, my family, my mind, body, and soul. Keep me safe from every evil and grant me the courage to walk in faith and confidence knowing that you are always with me. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord, I pray. Amen. Throughout the Bible, we see countless examples of God's protection over his people. In the book of Exodus, God protected the Israelites as they fled from Egypt, parting the Red Sea to provide a path of safety. In the book of Daniel, he shut the mouths of the lions to save Daniel from harm. These stories remind us that God is actively involved in our lives, ready to protect us when we call upon him. God's protection is not only physical, but also spiritual. In Ephesians 6.11, St. Paul tells us, Put on the whole armour of God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. This armour is not made of iron or steel, but of faith, prayer, and the word of God. By immersing ourselves in prayer, we put on this armour and allow God to shield us from spiritual attacks. As Catholics, we believe in the powerful intercession of the saints and angels who pray for us and protect us. Saint Michael the Archangel is known as a defender against evil. We invoke his protection with confidence, asking him to guard us against the powers of darkness. Let us pray together. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We also turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary our loving mother, who offers us her mantle of protection. 
She stands as a refuge for all who seek shelter from the storms of life. Let us ask for her intercession. O Blessed Virgin Mary, wrap us in your mantle of protection. Intercede for us, that we may always be shielded from harm and evil. Guide us closer to your Son, our Saviour, and keep us safe in the shelter of his love. Amen. To experience God's protection in our lives, we must cultivate a daily habit of prayer and trust. Here are a few practical steps you can take. Begin and end your day with prayer. Invite God to protect you and your loved ones each morning and thank him for his protection each night. Pray the Rosary. The Rosary is a powerful weapon against evil and a beautiful way to invoke Mary's protection. Bless your home. Use holy water to bless your home regularly, asking God to protect it from all harm. Wear a sacramental. Items such as the Miraculous Medal, St. Benedict Medal, or a scapula serve as reminders of God's protection and intercession of the saints. Let us bring this time of prayer to a close, entrusting ourselves once more to God's loving care. Together, we pray our central prayer for protection one final time. Heavenly Father, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Protect me from all harm and danger, both seen and unseen. Shield me from the attacks of the enemy and surround me with your angels to guard my steps. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Michael the Archangel, and all the saints, I seek your divine protection over my home, my family, my mind, body, and soul. Keep me safe from every evil and grant me the courage to walk in faith and confidence, knowing that you are always with me. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord, I pray. Amen. May you always find peace and safety in God's presence, knowing that his protection surrounds you. God bless you.